going on guys all day dfs checking back in with y'all with my top five i hope you guys are having a great friday happy friday i hope y'all guys cashed in last night let me know how it went down below also let me know who y'all guys are liking today let me know who you guys got on the over let me know who you got on the under any single stats uh popping out at y'all let me know what y'all guys like if i didn't mention a player that you like let me know help me and help everybody else that's reading these comments and that's looking at the video so I'm gonna go, get, go ahead and get into it with my top five. First on the board, I got Shy Gilgis Alexander. Um, I'm really liking him today because Al, Hor Al Horford and uh, Diallo is out, and uh, basically he's gonna be doing everything. He's gonna, you know, he gets rebounds, he gets assists, he gets points. He's good with the peripherals. I really like him. Or 44, 44 does seem kind of high. So for you, it might be a little risky. If you do think that that's a little risky, um, you can pivot with Lou Dort. Lou Dort is right below here he's uh, projected at 24 he's probably the next in line to get that usage bump with no Horford in there there's gonna be more shots for shy there's gonna be more shots for Lou Dort so uh, if you don't like shy if you think that 44 is a little too high maybe Lou Dort would be the play at 24 I can see him going over 24 as well I like both of them but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with shy on this one I can see him just just the usage alone he's probably gonna be able to get over that 44 um, I like him full game especially if the game stays close Next on the board, I got Jimmy Butler versus Utah. Now, Jimmy, I snagged him up last night. I don't know if y'all guys watched my video last night, but if you did, he was at 40 last night, and I told you to go ahead and snatch him up. 40 just seems way too low for Jimmy. Usually, he's around 42 to begin the day with, and then he goes up from there. So, he was at 40 last night, and he's already at 41 and a half right now. Um, I still like him for the over on 41 and a half. Um, he's gone over four. He's gone over 41 and a half four out of his last five games. Bam is questionable. Tyler Harrow is questionable. So if they if they don't play, he's going to be even have a higher usage. Um, so I definitely like him for the over at 41.5. Jimmy rarely rarely ever lets me down. I always go with the over on Jimmy, and he's hit um, about I would say about 80 percent of the time. So I really like Jimmy. I think tonight I know the matchup is is isn't a great one. Utah's really good. I think they're number one in defense. But again, he's if, if Bam doesn't play, even if Bam plays, I still like it. But if Bam doesn't play, he should really get over this 41 and a half easy, I think. Unless they just all zero in on him and it's a blowout. So you might want to just play him first half to be on the safe side. But I, I like him. I got him last night at 40, so I really like that. And at 41 and a half, I still see him being able to get over. So next on my board, I have... DeAndre Ayton. Now, guys, DeAndre Ayton has burned me a lot of times. Uh, I'm sure he's probably burned y'all if y'all have picked him. Um, but tonight, I just like the matchup. They're 23rd ranked versus the the center position, and his last three games versus the Bulls, he's got so he's got a 54, a 61, and a 44. So he smashed pretty good versus the Bulls. Um, the only thing to worry about that it might be a blowout. Um, I'm not, you know, uh, we never know how how that goes. If the game stays close, I see him going over 34 easy. I think he can get you know anywhere from 37 and up. So at 34, I really like him. I, he's an over for me. If you feel like it's going to be a blowout, just play him in the first half. Go first half with him. I think he's at 17 with the, in the first half, which is still I think a good play. Um, I see him you know being able. Uh, he's you know he's a big big dude. I think Wendell Carter might guard him. Uh, I see I see him be, being able to do good. I see him going over 34. But again, if if y'all played him a lot, he's burned a lot of people. So. That could be a toss-up for you guys. You might want to just fade him. He's burned me a lot as well. I just like him today. I like the matchup today, and I like the 34. I think he can get on. Usually he's around 36, I think. So I like the 34. I think he can get over that. Next on my board, I got Kelly Oubre. Now, Kelly Oubre has gone over 34. His last five versus Charlotte, he's gone over 34. And, and his last four out of five, he's gone over 34. And Charlotte is ranked 30th versus uh, small forward. So it's a good matchup. He's gone over his last five versus Charlotte, and he's gone over four of his last five games overall. So, I mean, guys, all the signs point to 30, you know, over on the 34. I'm really liking this this, this spot for him. I'm liking the matchup. I'm liking, uh, you know, all that he's done in his last five games versus them and his last five overall. You try to look for that 80%. This is what I do. I try to look for four out of five at least, and then his last game versus that team. So he's gone over four out of his last five. We got the 80%, and he's gone over the last game versus that team. So to me, he's a lock. I like him over for the 34. Next on the list, we got Mike Conley. Mike Conley, to me, he's just he's just too low at 28. It just that seems too low. I can see him being able to get a 30, a 32. I mean, Miami's not a good matchup. It's not a good matchup versus Miami. 
but I just feel like 28 is too low for him. Um, yeah, he's gone over 28. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's gone over 28 his last two versus Miami. His last two games versus Miami, he has a 42 and a 53. So um, this is just basically based on the number. I just think 28 is too low. I think he can get 30. Now, if he was at 30 or 32, it might, you know, it would be a little riskier. It might be one of those sweaters that you're sweating it out the whole game. But at 28, I just feel that that's too low for him. I think he can get 30, over 30. Definitely, you know, 30, 30 to 32, I think he can get. So I just like the number on him. That's that's why I'm playing this play. And I like his last two games versus Miami. He has a 42 and a 53. So, one, two, three. Yep, that's my five for today, my top five picks. So next I have some single stats for y'all. Okay, so tonight I'm looking. I'm liking um, Hallenberg. What is Hallenburton? Ty Hallenburton. Oh, sorry, per yeah, Tyrese Hallenburton. He's at 13 and a half points. Um, I'm liking the over on that. He's been averaging the last 15 days. He's been averaging seven, almost 17 points per game. So yeah, he's almost uh, you know three and a half points, almost four points uh, above that. His average is last 15 days. So I'm liking the over on the points for Tyrese Hallenburton. Also, we got this might not be one that you might want to play. I'm just liking it tonight. They got Buddy Healed at um, four and a half rebounds. I'm liking the under on that. Um, I really like the under on that. He doesn't have a good matchup. Um, Detroit's pretty good versus his position. Um, and I just feel it's going to be one of those games where he's not, you know, he might just be shooting. I just don't see him getting five rebounds against Detroit. Play it at your own risk. That's just a single stat that I like. Um, I really don't think he's going to get there. I don't think he's going to get at five. I see him getting like around three rebounds. So I like him for the under on four and a half rebounds. And speaking of rebounds, let me see where is he at. Where is Jimmy at? Uh, Jesus, he's probably up here. Or did it take him off the board? Okay. Okay, so they got Jimmy at seven rebounds. That just seems way too low. I think usually he's he's around seven and a half. And I think when I did my research, he was at seven and a half because I have him here at seven and a half. So they lowered even more, which I like it. Um, his last 15 days, he's averaged nine rebounds a game. So he's averaged two, over two rebounds more than that. So again, the, the matchup versus Utah is a risky one. They're really good. It's not a good matchup. But again, if, if Bam doesn't play, I mean, I can really see him getting in there, getting some boards. He's going to be the main, main guy. He's, he's the main guy anyways, but especially without Bam, I just see him, you know, he could probably get a triple-double tonight. So I really like the over on the rebounds for Jimmy. And the last play I have of the day is just the first half play. I didn't really get into too much first half today. I haven't had a, a chance to do that much research today. But the one that I did research, I like Serge Ibaka. I like Serge Ibaka over... 11 in the first half now surge is basically a first half player I've been looking at the trends the last five games and he rare he doesn't play too many minutes in the second half He plays a lot in the he plays the most in the first half and then he, he usually plays around uh, I think 12 to 13 minutes in the first half and then in the second half He's only playing like eight to nine minutes. So I definitely like him with the over in the first half over 11 He's gotten over 11 four out of his last five so he's gone over 11 for the last five, and today Jonas um, is questionable. So Jonas not might not play. So I mean, he's he's probably going to be able to have his way in there with whoever. I don't know if it's Brandon Clark. I don't know who's going to be his, who. I don't know who he's going to be going up against. But I see I see Serge being able to get over 11 easy. I see him getting, you know, a good amount of rebounds in the first half, scoring some points. So I like Serge over 11 in the first half. And then my, I did have another first half play. I thought I only had one. The other first half play that I'm liking that I'm going to go with is um, I'm going to go with the under on Jason Tatum. He's um, projected at 23 and a half. Um, he just had a really bad game, uh, his last game. And Indiana is, is a, you know, it's not the best matchup for him. Um, I really don't have no other stats on it. I just, I just feel that number's too high. And then again, you know, he might go off maybe because he had a bad game last game. He'll come back strong this game. But I, I see Indiana playing him tough. Um, I like Jimmy. Uh, I'm sorry. I like Jason Tatum for the under. I like him going under 23 and a half. So that's all I have for you guys. Again, if y'all guys like something that I didn't mention, let me know. If y'all like a player, if you like a stat, if you like a first half play that I didn't mention, let me know. Uh, let me know who you guys are liking. Let me know if you agree with any of these picks. Let me know if you disagree. Um, and don't forget to go ahead and join our Discord community. 
Uh, big shout out to to White Cards. Big shout out to everybody's in, in the in the chat room that's that has it active that that we're in there sharing strategy, sharing picks. Guys, if you need help on this, we have a room that's dedicated just to price picks. That's all we talk in there is price picks. We need some guys that are good on college basketball, some guys that are good on NHL, uh, PGA, MMA. Right now, we just we're strictly uh, NBA. But if any of y'all guys, you know, are good on any of the, any of those sports, we would love to have you in there and help us with those kind of uh, with those sports. So, anyways, go ahead and join that. The Discord uh, link is down below. Also, like, subscribe, share, get the word out there, guys. I'm trying to get over 100 subscribers um, in March. So, if y'all can help me with that. And I hope y'all guys have a great day. I hope y'all guys cash in. Good luck to everybody. See y'all tonight.